Hey all, it's Karain and welcome back to another episode of Crafting Norsha. This is the fifth episode and as you can see since the last time I did some improvements on the outside design of the uh, abbey which is over there. I'll go into the details on what I'm up to up there in a bit. Um, but for the improvements here I made some minor improvements to the tent this corner here I built the uh, sconces on the outside of the gate I uh, might have to move it later but this is at least the design I also improved some on the um, wagons I cleaned out the lower sections and I also made an inside I made the roofs a bit higher so there's actually room for windows and I also noticed that there was another tent on the other side of the uh, abbey over here so I changed that around and then finally uh, this is something that I'll have to do later uh, on the other side of the abbey there was a graveyard with a stack of boxes and materials and the graveyard was also turned into an actual graveyard rather than a random collection of walls and last but not least here's the pen of horses this was all wood and not fences I just change that out and now it's a nice place for horses to live um, then I wanted to get started on the Abbey and I wanted to clear out the inside of the Abbey first but then I res realized that the Abbey is uh, a rather big problem in the sense that it is not uh, rectangular the original model is uh, positioned in a rather crooked uh, way uh, in relation to the map which makes all the roofs and windows and walls and everything uh, slanted and that is not something that's easy to fix or build with so I decided that I want to actually move the Abbey a bit in total which means that I'll have to recenter uh, the roof and then the walls and then go from there. So what I did was I go went up to the spire here and I made that a bit more nice looking. And then I went inside to the bell tower and I set up these pillars it all looks rather nice now and then I took a look inside and if we drop down you can tell that this attic is supposed to be here it's rather randomly filled with blocks of wood currently and there's the outside windows of at least three of the wings but as you can see it's rather messy and it's really hard to make something nice out of it so what I'm doing is I'm actually re repositioning the windows uh, I'm using redstone lamps for it for now but I'll probably change that to actual uh, windows later might do it right away I'm not sure uh, as you can see I started with the top here and now I'm actually positioning the uh, tops of the different sections uh, the and the bottom I'm I made a square shape around the lower section there's supposed to be some platforms there that people can stand on probably it should be nice to add a door maybe to uh, different positions but it'll need to turn into a circle and then I need to 
reposition the windows and the walls and everything so that's basically what I'm gonna do uh, and I'm gonna try and work from the top to the bottom so I'll actually start by adding this roof it's uh, using red wool and I'm using red wool uh, because it makes sense to do so but I think it will be better to change it to uh, red terracotta in general later I'll just do it in one go then We're using uh, world edit for now I'll just stick with the wool Let's see what happens now I don't want to end up on these so I'll need to make sure that it turns out nice and even as you can tell there's a two wide spacing here and on the other side it's a three wide spacing I decided to leave it like that I'm not sure if that is wise but if I extend this out one more then I have to extend the entire section out and I'm not sure how that'll end me up hmm course it won't be really symmetrical if I do it like that so now I'll actually just change it to three otherwise it'll be come a big problem later I think so let's see we'll take this side out it's the far side of the Abbey so it will be easier to correct from there uh, let's see one two oh, that's not supposed to be there either so fix that right away uh, let's see this is three wide now we should make this wide as well which will also make us end up with a nicer spire at the top anyway so now oh, there's that benefit okay so let's see we'll build this up Extend that out one. Let's see how we end up now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now we fill this out. with oak wood planks Ooh, there we go and then we cover it up with the red wool which will change later on this can go now it's three wide on all sides which makes it easier to get the center of the roof just right yeah yeah it feels better Ooh. okay there let's see one two now we can make this 
one wider as well of course so this is where we want to end up and now I can tell that I moved that over one too little one, two, three, four, five outs okay and we're five out on this side now we need that one and one two three four five out from that side so now all these are in the right position now let's see how they did this they used stone for the surrounding of the windows and then stone bricks for the walls and we're actually going to start with red wool one two three then extend that out regular sto stone for that, excuse me. Uh, there. Then we'll drop some windows there. One, two, four in front. One, two, three. See, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five layers. There we go. It is actually four wide here, but that doesn't really make any sense. All the lights are going out this side. There we go. So we'll have to remove the old roof. that and then we'll extend that down a bit again uh, let's see we'll probably need stone there to clean up that wood later oh, and it goes down one more so 
so it actually meets up with the roof of the other section ah uh, yeah that makes sense so let's see how they did that over here one two three four one two three they sided with stone and then ah oh, they build it out with yeah okay so we're just gonna line this up with stone or do an outline for you language people okay and then we'll extend that with I can't aim for crap apparently Okay. So there's that. Now that should be enough with do we want it to be I think we'll extend it to this wall over here we need to get the center right so there is actually a wood lining going down here we need to get this out one more yeah Okay, so we need to extend that down. In order to get the walls right. And we'll add some ladders to the bell tower later so people can actually climb up there if they want to in a real bell tower they use ladders or something similar anyway so that'll be okay this is going to be a bigger project than I first imagined I thought I'd just take the model that was here and run with it but as you can see it's actually going to become far more complex because I actually have to move the entire abbey in a sense uh, let's see make that one wider there we go and then I'll need at least one spot to get the ladder up but I'll do that later because I don't know where staircase is going to be now seeing this how this is going to take a while I'm going to leave you guys here for a bit and when I get back I will have cleaned up this building for a large part and then we can continue with the construction of the actual inside of the Abbey so hang tight I'll be back Okay, now a few hours later and we're back in the same attic as we were just a second ago for you guys. And as you can tell, a lot has changed. Uh, I'll go outside and show you what I've done. Basically, what I did was I started at the top over there 
and I worked my way down through the clock tower to make it straight and symmetrical. As you can see from the top here, the four wings of the abbey are all nicely aligned with the clock tower. There's some logic to the whole thing. I went up in here, I created this nice overview so you can actually look around didn't put any windows in didn't really see a need for it maybe I'll do that later some glowstone up there then the attic where we started just now uh, some more glowstone for lights put in some windows so you can see out again this will have to be decorated as uh, obviously and there needs to be a staircase here at some point. This is the layer that will be covered in. It's basically just there to keep the top section slightly elevated over the bottom as you can see here. Now then I had to move the sconces like I anticipated earlier. I had to redo the entrance. Oh, I could make this a little bit more symmetrical, I guess. By adding some more stone here. Sure, what I'm going to do with that corner now. You can always see when we design it further. Straighten that out. Now, and inside, just to show you what we've done, this is where we put the uh, gateway in one of the earlier episodes. It's still in exactly the same place. But the rest of the building is empty, it's open, it's ready to build. This outer area is all squared out. There's a nice overlook there. There needs to be a staircase that goes up and around into the bell tower. This is another one of the smaller wings. And then this will be the library wing. Again, you can see outside nicely. This will need to change. There needs to be some decoration on the outside as well. And the Hall of Arms is pretty much the same as the library wing. And also needs a lot of decoration still. I also had to move the uh, tent a bit because it was right up in here that wasn't really how I wanted it and also what we'll need to do and we can do that now before I'll leave you guys again is we will move the graveyard a bit because according to the old layouts The graveyard is actually aligned more or less with that wing over there, the Hall of Arms. And the Hall of Arms in the old setup was going in that direction, so the graveyard naturally ended up being up over there. So what we'll do is we'll just take this and move it and get rid of that mossy stone there we go let's
let's see. Mossy cobblestone wall and cobblestone wall for decoration. Now, oh, hey, something's wrong here. This actually needs to be filled out. I guess I was a little overzealous in deleting some of that then. Okay. All good now. So let's see. We'll just start over here. Not make it entirely square because that would be undesirable. Get out of there, cow. Take this up. That will have to go. Keep it up over here rather than having it drop down. And we'll just have it go over there. Now I know that there should be oh, an entrance somewhere around there. Let's see what kind of slabs we can use to make that accessible a bit. Mm. Now we'll just use cobblestone. guess we should extend the road up to here. It should make some more sense, I guess. We'll have to look and see how we do that. Now, put up some gravestones. semblance of a graveyard. Now let's see how we can do this. Because there isn't actually a road in the original. I'll have a little think on that, I guess. But, uh, for now, I'll just leave you guys with this. And next time we'll work on decorating the interior of the abbey. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys later.